All right, before I start merging layer six's fabrics together and changing it and getting it to, to look more and more like my, my future keyframes, my sketches, I first want to make sure, looking back on these middle three frames, that they flow. And this flows okay, but I think I want to introduce that grit, the kind of dissolve texture to it. So I'm going to open up, go all the way back to number four, and see what I can do. And it's very simple. Instead of just doing a straight opacity at normal mode, I can change it to dissolve mode. So it starts to add a little bit of that to it. Same with the nose, same with the horns. So it goes from clean and flat in the first three to a little grittier. They don't want the eyes perfectly strong yet. So maybe I can just tweak those eyes a little bit, fade those out a bit. So I'm going to make a new layer of them. Take the overall opacity down a bit and then dissolve the eyes. Just a little bit. Here's someone else doing their clicks and things too. So, yeah, there's a lot of kind of trying things out, seeing where it works. Okay, so I go from three to four, that looks better, to five. Now that's a little too extreme. So, same thing. I'm going to that trick we did last time. I'm going to duplicate all of group four, then I'm going to merge it, and I'm going to move that into my fifth folder. Come on. Come on. And then I can fade it out a little bit. Help them kind of sync together. And I can set it on dissolve. It's a little grainier. Now it goes from this to this. And that's my middle panel. And now with this one, I start to move things together. So I'm going to start. by taking the fabric, I'll go ahead and make a duplicate, just in case I don't like the changes I made. I'm going to start by making the, the red fabric, the hood, change. I'm going to open up that folder. And you know what, because this is a copy, I think I'm just going to rasterize and merge that folder of the hood. And that way, I can just do little things like this. Select this and start moving it. So it was here. So now maybe I just want to grow it. Control T it, transform it, stretch it out. Have it start moving towards the center more. Warp it.
I can also just erase away from it because I rasterized it. But just the hood, just these different elements. Maybe shorten it a little bit. that will work return I'll select a different part and mess with that it did soften it up quite a bit with all that warping but then I can use the sharpen filter because this is all computer generated so sharpen actually works pretty well I'm gonna start warping it making this look a little bit more believably free flowy. Start to bleed it towards the middle a little bit more. So all of us will have our own challenges with our animations and how to get the transformations to each step to make sense. And we'll learn a lot just trying to deal with it. I could use clone stamp. If I wanted to fill in some areas. This is a good example of where you might use clone stamp just on the current layer. I can set it to a hardness because I want it clean. Small size at 100%, hold down option to target, and then just paint in. And this is changing the pixels right on that layer. I can also use that to help it wrap around. On the forehead here and not always be so. Mechanical looking. All right, so now we go from this to this. Then what do I want to do with the rest of this? I think I want to start cutting away from it a little bit. Oh, clone stamp again. It's a little big. There we go. Let this kind of take over, and then I want it to fill in, start to stretch up like this. All right, now I want to take those, select them, so I put them all into one layer, and then Control T, just start shrinking them up a little bit. Maybe tilt them, maybe warp them. That will soften them out a little. Yeah. But I don't need this hook anymore.
I'm actually liking how the softening of the dissolve filter, you know, or the dissolve layer style is starting to make that look like a more believable fabric or leather rather than just a flat graphic. Of course, I could dodge and burn it too. I could give it some more dimension, and maybe I will. We can start to give it a little highlight on the top. Maybe a soft brush, the way I usually use dodge and burn. Dodge it a little bit at the top. Lights hitting. Again, not getting too obsessive. And then I can burn it a little bit on the bottom. A little strong at 50. Let's make it a little bit bigger, a little bit softer. Okay. So going from five now to six, yeah, that works. Maybe I'll fade out the eyes a little bit so that they still have that kind of wild orange in them, at least in this frame. I did it. I don't know how I did that. Or even better, instead of taking out, I can just copy the eyes from that resource, put them on top, and then dissolve them in. Kind of a race away. Ooh, that's kind of cool. So I'm gonna set it on dissolve. Give that graininess. Kind of Come on. Give me the regular eraser. Ah, too slow. Let's use the lasso. All right. A little bit of that tension and menace in the eyes. <laughs> 